Once again, it's about that time, ladies and gentlemen. Fight Forever releases this week. Hell, by the time you're seeing this, it might already be out. But real quick, we got some late developing news. Let's get into it. AEW Fight Forever releases this week. And there's been scuttlebutt all over Twitter, Reddit, which you never want to take your news from Reddit. But seeing as there's a couple high profile guys that's saying it, we got to dive into it. A lot of people are talking about the uh, creation suite and they don't have too many positive things to say about it. There are eight to 10 faces, eight to 10 hairstyles, each for men and women. You know, it's not really fleshed out and a big bomb drop this week that at release there'll be no modding of this game which we all suspected there'll be no custom logo feature um grix tweeted out grix is a modder who is um grix is a part of pro wrestling mods i don't know if you guys are aware of those but if you're in the modding community they're huge they are a they are a big part of what do you see what you see in community creations they do a great job with belts uh arenas and wwe 2k um and with aew fight forever not really having a community creations a lot of people were um a lot of people were counting on modding to keep you know characters updated you know AEW really has a nice system but there's only so much they can do grix tweeted out let me highlight this for call creators there is no custom logo feature AEW have intentionally put up put blocks in place to prevent modding so basically you're not gonna get those crispy crispy calls you're used to seeing um but it's funny a lot of the in-game setups you know they have things in place where they want you to create certain superstars like i've seen this week that they have the old roman reigns locked and loaded entrance i've seen this week that they have the aj styles hands up entrance um i've seen this week that they have the finn balor crawling through the smoke entrance here's another tweet saying uh by the way we can't mod on launch anymore so sources have told me it's encrypted we will have to hire a third party to reverse engineer the game which that's not to say it won't ever be able to be modded but that's saying at launch it won't be modded my question to you is does this deter you at all because what it's looking like, the create arena, the create a wrestler, the create a championship, that stuff is gonna be left up to us. And a lot of us aren't really that good at it. There, This game doesn't have a lot of tools for us to be good at it. So does my question is, does that detour you? Does that scare you at all? Or are you like me where I have WWE 2K for that, for my call to look really nice and look like me in the face and that's cool that's all well and good but at the end of the day i just want to play this game and have fun i want to get back to having fun playing a wrestling game and call me simple this game looks fun can we have fun am i allowed to have fun not just that like you know people I'm seeing things about Warlow being unbeatable and people liking Pox move sets over other people's and I'm excited guys. So, you know, does the lack of modding and the limited creation suite, does that detour you or are you like me? Are you looking to have fun? Big week for us guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' gameplay. I can't wait to get some gameplay on the channel. Uh, don't think for a second I'm done with the WWE 2K uploads. In fact, I got one of my favorite, one that a lot of people have been looking forward to coming up really soon. If you like the video, feel free to let, drop a like and subscribe. I've got a lot more coming. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.